Good morning. This video is for seven special people named Elias, Lila, and April who live in Vermont, and Jacob, Princess, Bastique, and CJ who live in the Philippines. And you all have seen one of these videos in the past. First of all, I want to show you the lettuce patch. A big old tractor going by. Okay. This is crisp head lettuce. And this other stuff right here is romaine lettuce. And this used to be all romaine. But you can see I've replaced it with a little growing ones. And this over here, I'm just starting to harvest on. And this, of course, is romaine, and then this is the iceberg. And then over there, used to be a greenhouse, but the wind blew it down. And these are little lettuce, and bigger lettuce getting ready to go into the grow box. Okay. Moving over this way. We have some of Grandma's peonies. And my old pear tree that's dying. And a young pear tree that's doing very well. And then this part over here is that something I know Jacob wanted to see. This is a strawberry patch, Jacob. And the reason it's got so much grass is because I'm going to transplant it after it's done bearing. You see the strawberries? Those would be nice big, nice big red berries. Got a deer fly bugging me here. See the berries? Nice big red ones there. Very shortly. And then over here is the little ones which I've already started picking but unfortunately I picked them all yesterday so today there won't be any red ones but these are so tender and juicy that even the green ones are good <laughs> now we go down here and start at the bottom work the way up blackbirds are singing to us over there by the pond. I don't know if you can hear them over the wind or not. Okay, the first thing we have down here is garlic. If I can show you the bottoms of these or not. Let's see if I can dig my way into one. Yeah, there we go. You can see that one. Starting the bulb right there. They got another couple months to go. Then I got the first row of peppers. These make green peppers. And got three rows of pumpkins. I can't wait to show you these in a couple of months. They'll cover the ground. It's this whole area of the garden. And we have more peppers. And my late tomatoes. And some green beans. And here we have some squash. And some more squash. And here we have some cucumbers. least favorite, onions, and broccoli, and my tomato plants are looking pretty good, 
and some earlier pepper plants. And these ones I put in just for Lilibeth. This is eggplants. And more tomatoes. More broccoli and cabbage. All kinds of broccoli and cabbage. And this is purple cabbage. See what color? Makes very pretty purple red cabbage. And then more broccoli. This row right here is musk melon. And over here we have more cucumbers. And more trucks going by. This is a row of beets. And this is a row of Swiss chard. And if you look down on the end down here, you can see the deer ate most of it. Like they did, they ate most of these string beans too. Cabbage. This is a row of peas. This will stop blooming pretty soon. And we'll have. Uh, some nice peas for meals and four of my favorite green Swiss chards and beets and I've got to weed this out but down in here we find look how what it is yet carrots had to let the weeds grow right along with them because they didn't come up as fast as they were supposed to. But all said and done, I'll have a nice carrot patch growing here in no time. And last but not least is another row of beets. And I could pick these for greens right now if I wanted to. That's it for an update. So far, so good. <laughs> Love you guys. Love all of you. Bye-bye.